Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the additional skill RPA developer series and the topic which we have chosen was databases. In the playlist, we have already covered how you can install the SQL Server. We have started from the basics of databases and then we are now in a place where we are exploring more about the databases. Now while working with the SQL Server, there are multiple issues which a developer faces. Now one of the most common issue was that when you are trying to connect to the database, you face this issue which was cannot connect to the server and in the last video we have seen that how I can resolve this issue. So the solution to this problem was that we have to go to the start menu and we have to search for something which was called SQL Server Configuration Manager and then we have to restart the SQL services and that's how I have shown in the last video how you can resolve this. But now I am getting a common message in my email as well as in the comments of this video that we are not able to find the SQL Server Configuration Manager in the start menu where you have shown, right? So if I go to my start menu and if I search here SQL Server, you would notice that I am not getting the configuration manager in my settings. Now, how do I restart the services if I'm not getting the configuration manager? Now there are two ways to open the SQL Server Configuration Management. The first one is you can go to your computer, go to the C drive and that's what I believe you have installed the SQL Server. Go to the folder, the Windows, okay. Inside the Windows, find the folder System32, right. So you have to go to the C drive, Windows, System32, right. Once you are in the folder, just search here SQL Server. Okay, and you should get this one which is called the SQL Server Management 16, right? This is the version which I have installed. Double click on it. Okay. It would ask you uh, for the permission, hit yes. And now you can see that this is my SQL Server Configuration Manager where if your services are stopped, you can just right click on it and you can start the services, right? So this is the first way of opening the SQL Server Configuration Manager, right? The second way, to open is that you just go to the control panel okay into the control panel you have something which is called administrative tools double click to open the administrative tools in the administrative tools you would have something which is called the computer management okay so you go to control panel you go to administrative tools and then you select this one which says computer management okay and that should open the computer management for you. In the computer management, on the left hand side menu, you would have something which is called services and application. Expand it and you would have this one which is called the SQL Server Configuration Management, right? And there you can see your SQL Server Configuration Management and all the services which are running for the SQL Server, right? We are interested in this one. So you can just go here, click on it and you would be able to see the same window which we have seen there, right? And in case you want to again stop or start the run, you can just come here and start it, right? So these are the two ways guys, where you can just open the SQL Server Configuration Manager. I will put both the navigation in the description for your quick reference. And in case you were able to successfully resolve this issue, just like this video and don't forget to comment that yes, this video was helpful. And in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the series. With that, I would like to wrap this video here. Thank you for watching and happy automation.